only there was a hammer. <laughs> Come broadcast that, can ya? Well, I <laughs> Alright guys, how are we doing? Another vlog on Red Bull Motorsports. Now, as you can see, I am in Rally, Germany. The beautiful Bostel seat for what is going to be a brilliant event. 19 stages, 344 competitive kilometers. So make sure you go back and watch all the shows on Red Bull TV, particularly the Rally Recap covers the whole weekend in one show. Now, joining me for the entire weekend is the legend that is Lewis Moyer. We've dragged him back and he's dragged me to go and play golf. Let's go. Hello and welcome to round 10 of the World Rally Championship. Lewis Moyer is back with us. Lewis, the last time we saw you was when we were hanging actually in Portugal. That was a lot of fun. Hello, how are you? Today we've been given a golf course to play with. But before we get into it, Lewis, age before beauty, off you go. Well, I never played golf in my life. Don't start making so, excuses. Today you're going to be a professional okay. golf, golfist. Have a look. If I hit it, I'll be proud already. Yeah, baby. This isn't going to go well. Stand well back, Lewis. <laughs> oh, oh, your belter. At which point should I shout for? Lovely. Only there was a hammer. It's got to be in here somewhere. Found it. It's there. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> got it. Yeah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Where do you go? Daga, vamos. C'est super. Let's right. talk about the rally. Um, for me, this weekend, because Oit Tanak is starting to build a lead in the championship, if he can get the job done this weekend, I think it's going to be difficult for Sebastian Auger Thierry Neville to reel him in. It looks really good. I mean, he has won here the last two years with two different vehicles. But we shouldn't forget that Sebastian Auger won three times here. Yep. Thierry Neville also won this event in the past. Who's your money on then? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, going to say, I'm going to say Thierry Neville, just to mix it up so I don't sound like a broken record. I'm going to and say now, Thierry Neville. Good luck. Oh, she's a belter. Look at that. You've played That's golf so before. Good. He's got this. Boom. Am I going to hit the golf? Yeah. The yeah, I'll just give it a shove back. Well up. Oh, Lewis. Bring me the putter. I'm about to finish this. Oh. Vamos. Mate, <laughs> Look at this, look at this catch. Wow. As Lewis tries to get himself out of the sand, let's take a look back. All the action from Friday. Out. <laughs> Got it. That was okay. It was a lot of fun, but I don't think myself or Lewis are going to become professional golfers any time soon. He was, however, a very, very good, a world champion co-driver, wasn't he, with Carlos Sainz. So we decided we were going to go and catch up with Sebastian Auger and Julian Ingrassia and find out what it takes to make the perfect partnership. <laughs> But in the car, it's, it's like every relationship. It, it's not always black or white. When we met, we knew that we, we had a mission to accomplish. We grew up together and we um, managed to climb all the steps uh, that were in front of us. We have different characters, but in rally, we spend our whole career together. A little bit in life as well. It's, it's never easy to find the, the right one. So when you have it, you should try to keep it. This is a kind of a flow. Basically, I couldn't imagine to, to start with any other career as Julian. So we need to comment live. Or... Sometimes you need to choose your driver more carefully. Guido D'Amour feeling the wrath of Gigi Gali. Gigi followed this up. Yeah, this time Gigi Gali should have taken the pace notes and show, it, show us what he's able to do. Sorry, Joanne. Then there are the random little extras that come your way. 
Julian Ingracia having to open a gate mid-stage for his driver Sebastian Ogier. Yeah, it seemed that I opened this um, this fashion because last year I think it was uh, uh, Andreas and uh, Anders that were doing the same in, uh, in Mexico again. I think the nicest part of it is uh, the style Julian is doing to open the small, uh, small always, box. Always try to get a little bit of uh, style. Yeah. <laughs> Phil Mills here on the Spanners. <laughs> This is yeah. yeah. Nowadays, but during the stage, during the, that's during the stage, something very crazy. The last time we have to do it, it was just a start of a stage in Portugal, and your crew on the steering wheel were getting out less than one minute before the, the start. So we had to put some uh, some tape on it and uh, manage. Finally, you have to be ready for just about anything. Daniel Elena starring again as he was forced to act as ballast when they lost yeah, the rear the monkey wheel. drivers. He then had to negotiate with local police. Luckily, Daniel is speaking any language, so he was he was able to negotiate with <laughs> with the local guys. <laughs> and this time his For weight, was, the an weight was an advantage. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. So, do you fancy having a go? One thing's for sure, this is not a dull job. The answer is yes. Never ever underestimate the importance of the co-driver and what Julian Ingracia has done for Sebastian Auger. In the media, we focus so much on what the drivers are doing, but believe me, the co-drivers are so, so important. And what a relationship it has been between Auger and Ingracia. Six world championships between them so far. Will it be more? Time will tell. Sticking with Citroen, I caught up with Essa Pekka Lappi this time for a game of Who's Most Likely? Fire the questions in. Shut up, don't tell them! Don't tell them! Toys? Yeah, you're finished. You must have a snowmobile. No, I own nothing. <laughs> I own nothing! This is starting to get serious. Do you have a girlfriend? Him. Uh, Him. <clears throat> Next one. <clears throat> don't cheat. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Can't broadcast that, can you? Well, I hey. have that, that kind of phobia. <laughs> Are we done? We done. Let's go. <laughs> Now, here in the World Rally Championship, it's completely normal to see the cars being serviced from an external viewpoint, but have you ever wondered what it's like for the actual mechanics working on the car? Well, look no further, here it is. What an unbelievable weekend I have had. I think it's been a better weekend for you, obviously, because you got to hang out with me. 
Yeah. It was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. Oh, Jackie. <laughs> well, it was Jackie. impressive. You know, it was impressive from the weekend. Your goal, please. <laughs> that was impressive. Only a hint of sarcasm. The, the statement of, sarcasm of the rally was, well, Ogier saying, I cannot drive this car. And Mike saying, Luis, bring, bring me the batter. Bring me the batter. Brilliant. Unbelievable job from Turk this weekend. One, two, three, with a victory from Oit Tanak. It's all looking good for him in the championship now. Impressive, absolutely impressive, particularly the car is reliable, very strong, all three drivers are very competitive, only four rallies to go, and not Tanaka speedily. But on the manufacturers, he's still here on the in front. Absolutely, so much to look forward to. Thank you very much for following the vlogs to all of you guys. Please do subscribe to Red Bull Motorsports, and of course, leave all your comments in the comments box. I will try and do what you want me to do. Lewis, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us here this weekend. It's been Thank great you, having you around, It was a pleasure to be with you. Legend. You, don't get to play, you don't get to play golf with a two-time world rally champion every now and again but there you go we did it this weekend we'll see you soon guys bye bye